as many of you guys know, in Marvel Snap, the Deadpool movie came out. Or Deadpool and Wolverine movie came out. Well, I decided it would be fun to make a deck with that in mind. Normally, I do this kind of video on my other channel. Feel free to check it out. But this time, I feel like doing it on here, mostly to advertise my other channel. A little fourth wall break there for you guys. Don't really know if it is, but let's move on anyway. As you can see, I did kind of color code it, the borders, you know, Wolverine, you know, red for Deadpool, and what have you. Thanks to the whole Deadpool Diner event, mind you. Now, you can, if you really wanted, you could substitute Cable or Copycat for X-23. But, without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Okay, so, for this first game, let's see. Oh, we're up against an Aerostrom deck, which, you know, fine. I feel like we're always up against Erisham deck these days. Honestly, it's a fun deck to play, but it's a terrible deck to go against, in my honest opinion. And I do not like going against Erisham decks, like literally at all. Hmm, I guess we'll put this here. I don't think I'm competing for the two cards. I don't think I really care, honestly, so. Hmm. I do care about that, though, technically, so. Maybe. I need to get some cards being destroyed. Otherwise, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I guess. I don't really know. Maybe I should have saved that for Deadpool. I don't know, but it's what I got. I'm actually not drawing like anything that I need to draw on it. So they could turn off Asgard if they think they're going to lose. Okay, they went ahead and Loki. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's not fine. Okay, I got there. Angela. Huh? That doesn't really help me at all. I mean, it doesn't per se hurt me, but it definitely doesn't help me. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. I feel like most of the Erisham decks I've come across are playing Loki. So, that's... See, they can play Loki a turn early. So, that's... That's one of their things. And they have random cards to begin with. So, Loki doesn't hurt them at all. They don't have to pick and choose what cards they want to use or what they don't. They're probably deciding if they want to turn off Asgard or not. Because they have that Nocturne. They can turn off Asgard if they want to. Yeah. It's in five, so okay. They decided to do nothing. Wait, does that mean they're planning to play... Oh, is that what they're planning to do? Okay, I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll play this here. That's really the only play I got on this play. Uh, is this the only play I got? Yeah. Basically, get Gwenpool, hope for the best. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's my best course of action right now. They definitely have me dead to right here, as it were. And I was not able to get the optimal destroy line. 
to destroy anything. Hopefully they can destroy some stuff for me. They're using a destroy deck right now. They at least four or five cards in their hands are des no. Four cards in their hands are destroy. So I mean in theory they should be able to pull off some destroy shenanigans. Actually, you know what? I think it might be best if I put this here. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. What are they going, what are they doing is my question. Okay, maybe, maybe it was the right card to have that there. No, no, this here is fine. Okay. Okay. I'm honestly curious what they're doing. I really have no clue. It's only two cubes, so... <clears throat> And it's not even two cubes yet, it's just one cube. So I'm curious what they're doing. The only thing I can gather is that they might not be the best with playing a destroy deck and they got nothing but destroy cards from the Loki. That's all I can gather. I have their Angela, but that's not like a game breaker type thing they retreated i they played loki i guess they didn't like what they got i mean this might be a little weird of a destroy deck but it's still a destroy deck guys um i also decided to color code that stuff in like wolverine deadpool color look at the borders yeah yeah, I decided to do that. Yeah. You know what? On to the next one. Okay, that last game, I have no idea at all why they trended. If you guys know, definitely let me know. Okay, let me know. Comment section below if you guys have any idea as to why they went there. Okay, if they play armor here, I'm just fine with that. Oh, Fina. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do this and this. That way, we we'll get the kitty back in our hand. Yeah. Okay, Angela, Ant-Man. Okay. Ooh, now we are cooking. And I guess this, yeah. Yeah, that seems good enough. enough. Okay, Nocturne and Maria. See, Maria makes me think Loki, but maybe I just have Loki on the brain, because that seems like a pretty weird Loki. Hmm. Hmm, maybe... Maybe this and this? And then we'll just put this here, because, unless that's a killmonger, then that kills that, but, eh, it's fine. Okay, beast, huh? Okay, Dazzler, with destroyed cut from my deck. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, and Deadpool's bigger as well. And Kitty. And they pulled Deadpool. Okay, since they definitely pulled Shang-Chi. Hmm. I guess I'll play this here. Yeah. I was hoping that I'd... Yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, that beats me, that beats me, and yeah. I don't know what that emote means. We did lose, but I don't know what that snap emote means. If they're being smug, I don't really know why it was a close game in my opinion but you know what on to the next one i'm gonna be honest with you guys the meta isn't really at its optimal whatnot these days because okay here's what i mean by that the meta these days seems I'm going to try to be real greedy, okay? I may be punished for it, but it's okay. The meta these days usually seems to be junk or Arisham from personal experience. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we've been greedy for long enough, I feel like. I mean, we've been super greedy. We are like the greediest ever. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know how being this greedy is working for us, like, literally at all, so, yeah. Okay, we did win that, that's good at least. Hmm, hmm. Huh. It's, uh... Pickle, what we want to do. We kind of got Gwenpool kind of late. We needed her on 10 4 to make little any difference at all, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this and. No. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and. Do this, yeah. But then I can't play that on the left hand. Oh, I'll do Hello. this and then do this. Yeah, okay, that will work. Wait, they retreated? What did they have? What did they have? I was going to destroy Deadpool, yes. Maybe once they saw I was going to destroy Deadpool using... Wolverine? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I really can't blame them for retreating. Like I said, the meta is crazy lately. Let's get another game in, shall we? Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest. In the original build of this, I had... What's it called? I actually had X-23. I took her out for a particular reason. And that particular reason was because of the fact that she didn't... I couldn't customize her card yet, so she didn't have a border for that. That's literally the only reason. It may seem like a weird thing, but the deck... I wanted to all have correct border, so, yeah. Okay. Green Goblin, huh? Okay. I mean, 
Thank you, Green Goblin. Bye. I mean, I really can't play her anywhere else. Oh, okay. Well, it should be fine. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, Wong is a card that exists. Oh, I got the white tiger though. That's nifty. Okay, we are going to go ahead and do what destroy decks do. Destroy. Okay. Hmm. I do see what's coming, but there's really nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Like this here and this here. Okay, let's see. Adam Zello. Okay, Adam Zello would not, I was not expecting that one. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> they had bad luck. All they had to do was have the Adam Zolo, you know, do the Wong and Black Panther, but instead a Zero Doubt White Tiger and no, they had instead the <laughs> Adam Zolo did a Jubilee and a Thor. You know what? That is that is actually pretty crazy. And can I say, the deck performed 100% brilliantly. Also, the whole white tiger thing, that actually helped me out quite a bit, I would like to say. So, that's why Copycat is in this deck. Copycat isn't your typical destroy card, but I figured, eh, why not, right? So, yeah, Copycat actually serves pretty well. And see what I mean about junk? People may not... The Green Goblin isn't entirely junk, but it's junk enough for... Yeah. They snapped because they had the Adam Zolo Black Panther, you know, combo. Although I had Null here, so... Actually, let's say the math real quick, okay? Let's say they actually did get the Wong off in both locations, so that would have been two that would have gone to Null. And then they did the Black Panther, which was 16. Destroying the Black Panther will put 16 here and 16 here, but it would have grown up to 32. I would be... 43, so I still would have won either way. Null would have still won, so, yeah. Okay, okay, that was some good adding up. As you can probably tell, I'm going to end it off here. When I do the adding up, it's usually because I'm going to end it off. I know that was a bit of a short one, but this deck I kind of just made on a whim. I know it looks like mostly classic destroy, but I'd like to think that a few other surprises in store. And I'm sure you guessed by the name of the deck and the theme of the borders that it's a uh, Deadpool and Wolverine deck. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.